If I Was a Banana by Alexandra Tiley and illustrated by Kieran Reinhardt. If I was a banana, I would be that one, all yellow and fat and full of banana. If I was a mountain, I would be the one with the snow and the clouds and the rumbling volcano that never blows its top, well, never enough to hurt anyone. If I had to be a bird, I would be big with huge wings and a long neck. You would only ever see me in the distance flying away somewhere on my own, looking very regal. If I was a cow, I would want to be the one standing over there. That cow makes you feel like there's nothing more important than being a black cow standing on green grass. Moo! If I was a cloud, it would be great to be a big black storm cloud and shoot lightning, thunder, and hail all over the place. But then, maybe a much smaller, lighter, fluffy sort of cloud would be a better sort of cloud to be. If I was a ladybug, I don't know how I would feel. To be that small could be a little frightening. And then, who knows, maybe I would be a very brave, bright, red ladybug and fly very high without a care in the world. If I was a fish, I would not like it very much. I don't want to be a fish. Maybe being a whale would be all right for a while, but I would rather not be a fish. If I was an elephant, I think I would have to be very careful where I put my feet. I guess you would get used to that. It would be good to be an elephant, to be big and strong and free in Africa. If I was a spoon, I would be that one, perfectly shaped and worn with the silver fading in all the right places. I know it seems odd, the thought of being a spoon, but I think I might quite like it. If I was a star, I would be that one, the little one, just above that other star. It is smiling at me and is quite different from all the others. If I was a tree, I would be quite happy. No matter how old I got, of all the things I could be, a tree seems to be one of the best. If I was a cat, meow, I would be meow, white all over and aloof and hardly ever purr, except for you, and then I would make such a noise that they would come and see what all the commotion was about. If I was a lion, roar, I would be that one over there, deep in thought sitting with its friend. If I was a lion, you might not want to talk to me, so I won't be a lion. Rawr! If I was a little boy, or a big one, which I am, well, not really big, but not really little either, I think of all the boys I could be, I am most comfortable being me. Story read by Sherry L. Cordo. Story questions, making connections, and critical thinking. What do you think is the author's message? 
How can you apply this message to your own life? What did you learn about the main character? What do you wonder about the main character? The word because is an important word to expand and explain one's thinking. Identify two examples where you think it could be added in the story. Demonstrate with two responses. Do you think it's important to see things from different points of view? Explain your thinking. Give two examples of different points of view in the story. Describe what you like best about yourself. Compare and contrast with a partner.